Hi, Jordan Thompson for SBU Men's Soccer. Jordan team is doing real well coming off a road trip where we had a tie at NNU and uh, won convincingly at Montana State Billings. Uh, just your thoughts on last week's road trip. Um, last week's road trip, I think we started out a little bit rough. We didn't connect as well as we thought or as well as we could have, um, especially the first half against NNU. Um, but then I got in um, and eventually got my first goal, which was a good lift because uh, we were down 1-0 already at that point. Um, and then from, I think, that point on, we we knew what we could do and we knew that we could kind of express the way we play our soccer, um, like with our confidence and whatnot after that happened. Now, in that game at NNU, actually, you had a 2-1 lead and gave up right. a goal with 45 seconds left in regulation. Right. How devastating uh, was it for you, and how did the team bounce back on Saturday? It was extremely devastating. Um, just any time you lose a game within the last, like, or any time you tie a game uh, with a lead within the last, like, five minutes, it's it's devastating. You work so hard to keep that lead, and um, it's you can't really put the blame on anyone. There's no really one person that you can blame or anything. It's kind of, it's a team effort for that tie. Um, but we bounced back. We came. Um, and played the overtimes, and we stayed strong. Um, I think we did really well, um, even though they had the momentum coming into the overtime. I think we stuck with them, um, had the better of the opportunities in the, in the overtime. Um, but yeah, I think we uh, I think we did pretty well. Well, earlier in the season, uh, you've been really close to scoring a goal. In fact, you had one uh, called off for offside. Right. What was it feeling like to finally get an official goal in the uh, box for SPU? It was, it, was, it was pretty amazing. I wish I celebrated a little bit more than I did. I, I kind of just walked it off. Uh, I don't know. It, it just felt, it felt really good, um, especially because that first goal that I scored, um, that I scored, <laughs> I got called back. <laughs> Uh, I finished celebrating and everything, and the ref blew the whistle and said, "Hey, that's not a that's not a goal." And everyone was really surprised, and I was really surprised. So that was definitely a blow um, to my spirit. <laughs> but then getting that goal definitely, you know, helps with the confidence and whatnot. So well, you should have plenty of time to celebrate, as we imagine you'll score <laughs> plenty of future goals. Hopefully. Can you describe what uh, happened on the goal at NNU? Um, the goal versus NNU, I had it was around the 18. Um, attacking their box. I had a defender to my back and I, one of our attacking midfielders, Anthony Muhammad, um, he had the ball and I just kind of asked for a chip through. So I turned the defender on my back and then kind of just went around him and Anthony chipped the ball over the top of the defender and I got the first kick to the ball. I, uh, it was kind of like a outside of the foot volley, barely got a touch on it. Goalie came out, got a touch and I thought he saved it so I was like, okay, Shoot, I missed another one. Um, but then I stood up, <clears throat> and I actually saw the ball rolling across the goal line, and uh, I heard people scream like, oh, my gosh, it's going in. So I was like, no way. And I got up and kind of just nonchalantly just walked back. <laughs> <laughs> um, this SPU offense is really balanced. A ton of guys scoring goals. Um, you know, how, how's that dynamic work offensively? Um, it comes down to who's playing the best at the at the time of the game and that comes down to marks the coach's decision and all the assistant coaches decision um but it's definitely balanced we definitely don't have a set group of people that just play the entire game we have people that can come off the bench and start off really strong they can come on and, and raise the game um and i'm one of those players right now who me and steven even though steven started a few um who can come on and raise the game just as the same level as the people that started the game, which is it's great for the team. You mentioned you've been coming off the bench, which is not common for you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Certainly with your club experience. What has been the biggest uh, transition or adjustment from coming from club soccer to college soccer? Um, the mentality mentality that uh, it's it's a team effort and it's everyone has their part and you have to play your part specifically and you have to play your part perfectly um, and everyone is on you to play that part even if like my, my part for kind of high school or whatnot club was to be the main goal scorer I was playing forward and you know I was had a lot of pressure on me but right now it's it's just 
play with consistency and uh, don't always look to be the goal scorer, but if you have the chance, go ahead. Um, but the biggest change, I guess, would be the mentality that it's you want everyone. It's a team game. It's not just put on a few certain people. Everyone needs to play their part. Great. Well, this week you host uh, University of Mary Thursday at 4.30 and then South Dakota Mines right. at 7 o'clock Saturday. Your final two home games in Interbay Stadium. Mm -hmm. How has it been playing in Interbay this year for you? Um, well, for me, since I almost uh, missed half the season because of uh, uh, the NCAA and, and whatnot, um, some eligibility issues, uh, playing at Interbay is, is great. The fans are great. Um, it's it's a great experience, atmosphere, everything. I, I love playing there. Um, and coming into uh, the last part of the season, knowing that there's only a few home games left, I'm definitely looking forward to that and and hoping that we can we can win and show the fans what we got. <laughs> great. And lastly, uh, when you're not uh, playing or practicing soccer, you're in class. How mm -hmm. are things going academically, and do you have a favorite class? Um, I think it's going pretty well academically. We have a uh, study hall that we always have to go to so they keep us kind of organized and uh, making sure we get our studying done um, and right now I I switched out of my calculus class to get go into microeconomics um, it's a business class and I think right now that'd be my favorite class kind of enjoying that a lot perfect well thank yeah. you very much yeah thank you